So it's very rare that a guitarist comes along and does something that completely blows my mind in terms of technique, something I've never seen before. Obviously, we've all seen people nip up and down the fretboard at a million miles an hour. Um, and this recently happened to me in a video of... Uh, there's a guitar player on YouTube, and if you haven't heard of him, you absolutely have to check him out. His name's Tim Lurch, and I discovered him on the Ted Green forums. I'm going to put a link to his channel in the description. I saw a recent uh, video of him, and he was dem I think he was demoing a new piece of gear. And he did this technique, and I was just completely had to stop in my tracks and had to find out, but just stop the video and work out what he was doing. It's a very, very, very simple technique, but it's just so, it's such an inventive thing to do that I'd never even considered it before. Um, if you, you're not familiar with the, the sort of basis of technique, check, check out uh, Joe Satriani for this kind of thing. It's called pick tapping, and what we do for that point is, uh, is we angle our pick so the larger part of it is facing towards the strings, and we basically tap down um, into the into the fretboard on the strings and, and it creates a very brittle sound but it but we get the sort of two hand tapping effect what I'm doing here I'm just holding a dominant nine chord on the uh, 15th fret um, so this this can work with any chord I'm playing in standard tuning which is very important to note for this technique then I'm just tapping two frets higher repeatedly with uh, uh, excuse the kitten um, repeatedly with um, with this hand um, and I'm sort of getting into a position where I'm sort of tensing so I can vibrate very fast on the strings and uh, it's not very precise sometimes I hit two strings at once sometimes I hit one and it's 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 not intended to be a, like an arpeggio technique it's just the idea is just to be a, a fast flurry of notes so try this out and you're playing I'll show you what I'm doing slowly in a second and then again up to speed and I'm gonna put a, a, a link to Tim's channel you should definitely check out his playing in general because it's a tremendous guitar player and it an amazing command of the instrument and I'll try and find that video and put a link exactly there in the description so you can see what I'm doing. So a bit of a long one this week because this requires a lot of explanation. It's not very difficult by any means but it's a hard thing to articulate because it's it's based around a technique that, um, well it's basically its own technique like I say it's something this very rarely happens to me where I, I see a guitar player do something interesting that I've never seen before so check this out, check out Tim's playing as well and uh, if you've got any questions I'll be happy to answer them in, in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.